Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, so today I have something that I've been wanting to show you. I've uh, actually um, read about this and thought I'd give it a try for myself to see how it worked out. But it is coding your um, tailgate to soft close. Um, one of my things I've noticed with this, with the F-15, F-85, basically the X-5 in general, is when you shut that rear tailgate, it closes, it closes, and then that, that last slam is just, a, it's just horrible. It's just bam. So, um, there's a way you can go code it through expert mode. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate that. Um, it's really easy. Guys, don't be intimidated with the expert mode. Um, if it was something complicated, I'll probably be like, you know what, I wouldn't even show it, but it's really going through a couple of submenus and then you're there. All right, so um, let's get started. All right. So what you want to do, go to start your Beamer Code app, go in here, you connect it, and the first thing you'll do is go into your tailgate module. All right, um, you can log in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a screen recording so you guys can see what I'm doing. Right now it's just identifying the control units and then you know run through this whole checks and stuff hopefully that my battery doesn't uh run down before it happens because i was playing with this for a while direct wi-fi connection already in use turn this off wi-fi off all right so now that we're in go to the tailgate function module uh, i'm just going to run through its own little checks there doesn't take as long as the body domain controller. And once you get there, you want to go to expert mode. So expert mode, continue, and you want to slide down until you hit, uh, I believe it's three, zero, Two zero was the third one down from the top. It's called uh, HKL underscore climatic. All right, you hit that, and then you will um, go into your dry. I can't pronounce this. D R E Z. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it. That you guys should pause it, but it's the segment cell, and then you'll see. Where you'll see F15, F85 checked, you'll you'll hit the um, custom value. All right, so you'll go into your custom value, and you're gonna change into numbers up here. So your number one, you're gonna delete that out of there. It's gonna be 20. Oh, sorry, number zero zero is gonna be 20. Byte one is going to be 30. Byte two is going to be 40. Byte three is going to be 58. Byte four, four is going to be 58. And the rest of them are going to be 58, all of them from here on out. Parking mode on. All right, so 20, 30, 40, 58 for the rest. Hit done. You'll go back and you'll go ahead and code it. Preparing the coding. Finish coding. Let's go to his checks.
successful. So now I'm gonna open my hatch from here. And should we close it? Shit, it slows down. Soft close, perfect. So that's it guys. That's all that it is, there is to it. Remember 20, 30, um, then 58, 58, 58, 58. And then that's it. You'll, uh, you'll apply that custom value to the real tailgate and then soft close. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. So, you know, it just helps me. Um, but uh, guys, I appreciate it. <laughs> and my lights just turned off in my garage. So I think that's it. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. One more thing I wanted to add was, you know, if you guys are doing this, especially in expert mode, just be safe. Save um, when you log in to your Beamer code. Um, make sure it does a backup. So if something goes wrong, nothing doesn't work out the right way, or you might input the wrong number and you're confused, don't panic. Just reload your backup. Um, each module has its own backup date. So you may, if you say, you know what, I coded something like three days ago, I want to do it. But if you're in tailgate module, and it's the first time you recoded tailgate module, that's a separate backup. So each module you go into is a separate backup. So even if you reloaded a tailgate module backup, your body domain control, for example, of all your mirror coding would not be erased unless you applied that backup to that particular module. Uh, like I said, hope the video's helpful. Guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, last thing I wanted to add, I know I keep adding more and more, but it's the last thing. I just want to mention this. Um, this video, these things could not have happened without the other guys um, I read on the forums. Um, they're doing the hard work. They're, they're actually cracking these codes. They're actually doing these stuff and find this information. I'm just applying it. I'm just another guy like you guys, and I'm just trying to explain it in a simple way to you understand. But I'm not a professional coder. Um, I'm just someone who read some stuff on the internet, applied it to my car, it worked, and I thought I could do a simple explanation video. So I hope that it helps you guys. Um, and like I said, couldn't be done without the other guys on the other side doing, doing the hard work. But I appreciate um, all of the like, support, comments, things like that.